right, folks, you're insane with the insane chef and uh, Colonel Junior insane here is making up this here beautiful chimichurri sauce and it is absolutely delicious. Meyer lemons in there. Mm, absolutely perfect chimichurri. Can't get no better than that. That's gonna be for our steaks. Well folks, I finally had time to get me a new Sonny Bono dude. Tell you what, I've been working so much, I haven't had time to do anything and uh, starting to really wear me out. I've been uh, not feeling as good as normal. Just low energy, tired, worn out, uh, both physically and mentally. So I'm, I'm kind of coming to that point uh, where I've got to take a step back some and not work this kind of crazy uh, insane schedule anymore. It's just becoming too much for the old chef because I'm, I'm getting close to 50 years old and I just can't keep up with this kind of pace like I could when I was in my 20s and 30s. So anyway, we'll see how everything plays out, but I may have to give up a little bit of this uh, workload and focus more on health and shit like that. You can only go so much so long before it starts to wear you out. I kind of came to that point here lately where uh, hitting the wall. Hitting the wall. So... Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of issues too. Like, uh, still, there's still supply chain issues. There's still uh, hiring, man. I'm paying top dollar. I can't get anybody to come in. I had a guy come in yesterday paying him really high money, and uh, he didn't show up today. I mean, that's just the typical thing. Either they don't show up to interviews, or they get hired. You pay them really high, high dollar wages, and then they uh, still don't show up. So, uh, I don't know, man. This business has been crazy this uh, since the pandemic very it's a difficult business regardless and then when you, you add on all the uh, way things are after the pandemic it's been really uh, incredible incredible but anyway I'm doing some cool food this week uh, and again when I'm doing these big events like this I just don't have time to stop down and film anything so uh, maybe CNN can hire me to uh, take over old Anthony Bourdain's uh, job uh, traveling the world and uh, showing you all the food and stuff and just put a film crew around me yeah man that is bizarre I'm standing here filming it's windy out but I'm in a kind of a cubby here a little hole this door just opened by itself strange man you know, come to think of it, though, it's probably not a good idea to take old Bourdain's job. I might get a arc inside it or something. Uh, working for them guys over there. The CNN. All right, folks, back on the road again. Uh, seems like I live on the road these days. Uh, doing a high-profile party uh, tomorrow, actually, so prepping that out. And, uh, yeah, here we are, back on the road. This is our uh, abode for the evening. And it smells like an old hospital in here, so this place may have been a hospital at one time. I'm not sure. It has the smell of an old hospital. This kind of looks like a hospital chair. How many people died here, I wonder? Oh, the Arizona landscape. Anyway. Oh, check out this old school phone. How old's that phone, Mrs. Shiv? Hanging at it all. Oh, they left me popcorn. They left me popcorn? Yeah. yeah that's good. Well, that's some popcorn. <laughs> I coffee cups here. Yeah, nice. I mean, this is like a, a boardroom uh, meeting here. Look at this. It's got a boardroom chair. Uh, old uh, VoIP phone system here. And right in the kitchen. I mean, hell, fuck yeah. Look at this shit. I have me a board meeting because I was bored. There we go. 
That's right. Chairman of the board. Well, Mr. Chef, they got some grills and all set up for us. You want to grill something? It wasn't so late. Okay, me and Mrs. Chef are very tired. We decided to come over here and have some sushi at this place. It got really good reviews and it has a uh, very eclectic menu that looks very interesting in normal times. But I'm just trying to get uh, a couple things and go to bed. But uh, man, pretty interesting menu, huh, Mrs. Chef? Very interesting. All kinds of cool stuff on the menu. Uh, you could de definitely drop like two, three hundred bucks in here. Easy. Very easy. I mean, some of the stuff on the menu is hundreds. But uh, we didn't go that extreme. But uh, we'll show you what we got when it comes out. All right, folks. So I found this is pretty interesting. This is a uh, royal trumpet. It's a char grilled royal trumpet mushroom. Mmm, that looks good. It smells good. It smells delicious. Ready to try this, Mr. Chef? Oh, yeah, that's gonna be absolutely delicious. I absolutely love mushrooms, and uh, this looks great. Smell good? Yeah. My, Mr. Chef, that's really delicious. It's like a cold smoked salmon, but in house. Got asparagus in there, and then it's like a kind of a spicy miso. Sauce. Mm, delicious. Ooh, there you go, Mr. Chef. Look at that. Mango mousse. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, little dessert and uh where we go. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. Got sunroof open. Moon roof in it. Anyway, that place was super good. What do you think, Mrs. Chef? It was very, very good. Very good. I it's one of the better places we've been to. What's the name of this place? I can't even... Edoko? Something. Pretty damn delicious, anyway. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll go back to our humble abode for the evening and pass out. We got a crazy-ass day tomorrow. Uh, we'll actually be... Gotta be at the airport super early. So, uh, yeah. We'll catch up with you guys next time.